Hello, hey how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the next video in the series. We are making a clinic management system. I was about to say school management system, but we are making clinic management system. If you are interested to learn, then keep watching. And if you end up liking it, then smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Right. Just to give a little recap, if in case you haven't watched the first video of this series, in the first video, which is posted a week ago from today when I'm speaking, or a few days ago, in the first video, I have created the database and I have created a couple of tables as well. What tables I've created? This is the Excel sheet that demonstrates that these tables were created. And we can see that in here in the SQL Server databases as well. So I've I've just you now recently learned how to use the magnifier. So please bear with me if the screen is constantly moving. I think this is one of the behavior of magnifier as well. So it follows the mouse. Anyhow, so you can see that these tables were created. And if I'll go here, patients, doctors, visits, test, these are the tables were created. Now today, what I'm aiming uh, is to finish the rest of the tables as well. And we will begin with the treatment. How many hours for following the channel? If I have, great. Otherwise, I'll repeat. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you that you do. Hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. There you go. I forgot whether I have said that before or not. But in any case, do that, please. <laughs> Subscribe. So let's go ahead and create the treatments table first. And then we move on to the next table, which is medicine, and then to prescription, and then to the billing. I know the sequence is weird, but that's how I like to do it. Okay, I have a sequence in my head which I like to follow. Right, so let's move back to SQL Server. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, and now let's create a new table by right clicking on the tables option, new and table. And in the new table, what I'm looking for is to create table for treatments. So let's copy the treatment ID first. And then let's have it here because this is going to be a uh, primary key i'm going to choose the data type as integer and allow nulls no the other thing i wanted to make sure that i want to make this column as a primary key now right now you don't see any key here the reason being is because this is not being not being defined yet so let's do that that i will do on the top there's a there's a ribbon and there is an option with the key so set primary key now if i will come here you will see a little bit uh, a small key right here i can i think you can see that pretty much now let's zoom out and let's look at uh, the remaining columns that we need to add so next is visit id so let's oops what did i do next is visit id and this will be uh, integer as well now before i forget uh, actually, I forgot that the treatment ID, because this is a primary key, and it's not important, but I like to do it, that I want to make the primary keys as the auto numbers as well. So to create this key or, or this column as an auto number, uh, I will scroll down a little bit, and I will go to the column properties. In here, I will try to search for identity specification. And in here, I will expand it, and I will double click here. So this will turn to yes from no, and the identity increment is one, identity seed is one. Now I'm done with that, so I'm happy for that. And now let's move on and let's um, add another column. And this is going to be text field treatment description. The idea is that the doctor or someone in the clinic write down what treatment has been recommended. So it's sort of text fields. In here, we will choose the data type varchar, but because this is going to be a text box, so let's allow some of the, you know, this field to be have more characters than two, or just 50 characters. Next is the treatment date. And in the treatment date, obviously, it is going to be date time column. Okay, so we'll choose date time, allow nulls, no. And then notes, again, this is a, you know, text box. So we will allow about 250 characters as well. Now I'm done adding all the columns that I supposed to add. 
and now what i can do is i can save this table by pressing ctrl s on the keyboard and i copy the name of the table and in here i say tbl treatments and hit uh, hit enter so it can save see the screen is just moving around this is what i don't like about magnifier to be very honest i mean it's great that the screen moves with the movement of mouse but the for some reason screen moves a lot anyhow we now look at the possibility of creating a relationship is there any column in this table uh, that has a foreign key of any sort and right away i can see that visit id is a foreign key because the primary key resides in the visits table so therefore we need to create a relationship between these two so when we enter a data in the treatment we assign a correct visit id to the treatment data all right so for that we have to create a relationship and to create a relationship we just navigate on top screen on here we will see right next to the key we will see another option called relationship so just click on that another window appears right now it's all blank that indicates that there's no relationship created yet so we will click on add and from here we will actually click here dot 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 we get another window now remember we are creating relationship between visits table and treatments table and what do we have in common what do we have common in both tables is the visit id is the common all right so we'll go and find out the visit id under the visits table okay so that's the visit id and then in the treatments table we also have the visit id as well so we click okay and there you go relationship is created that's it and click close and let's save it by pressing ctrl s this is uh, a alert we'll say yes and that's it job done so the table has been created therefore we can check we can mark this as green that indicates that the table has been created the next table i'm going to create is a medicine table and uh, we have a couple of columns in that table so let's close that right click new table let's zoom in a little bit and medicine id again this is going to be primary key allow nulls no and we will have the identity specification turns to yes and we have one increment one seed that's perfect we need to define this column as the primary key as well and now we will move on and we will add the rest of the columns as as well so we have the medicine name that's going to be varchar now some of the medicine names could be could be bigger so we'll make uh, 100 uh, character lengths then we choose description in the description we have the varchar again and again i would say 150 characters guys are you comfortable with this movement of screen because for me it's actually very weird that's why i don't use magnifiers and any other options anyway so we'll go back to the excel sheet we will get the next column that's purchase date we'll add that and date time is oh god it's all moving around so allow null no now expiry date and in here we have expiry date the time allow nulls no status is going to be text field so watcher allow nulls no and then the status date this should be date time allow nulls no okay i'm happy with the with all the columns that are added so let's press Control s and let's save this table as well and we'll call it tbl medicine all right now is there any column that requires a relationship to be created well as of now i don't see it okay there's no foreign key in here however the next table we are going to create will have many foreign keys so let's go ahead and figure it out next column is actually so medicine uh, table is created we'll mark this as a light green next one is the prescription and you can see that right away there are so many foreign keys in here so first of all we'll choose the prescription id right click new table prescription id int allow nulls no by time you should 
know what are what is the sequence that needs to be followed identity specification yes all right now we will uh, add rest of the columns so for example visit id okay that is going to be int patient id that is going to be int as well the screen is moving all the way sorry guys if this is annoying please let me know if you are okay with this or should i stop using the magnifiers in the next videos okay you have to tell me if you will say yes uh, i should use this magnifier great i'll keep using no matter how i feel for using okay while i'm talking to you about this i'm uh, adding quietly well not really quietly i'm adding some of the columns in the table so we are right now at dosage and frequency of dosage and we can have it as a text box and then we have start date and we can paste in here and this will become date time we have end date and this will come here so date time then we have the notes okay so notes and that would be var char but not 50 should be 250 all right so table i have added all the fields that were required now let's save this and now we will call it tbl prescriptions okay hit enter save let's zoom out a bit oh god thank you <laughs> now as you can see this free this uh, table actually has many foreign keys so let's create a relationship of those foreign keys so to create a relationship we select the field or column which is visit id and we click on this little icon and we come here add in here visits table and visit id in here as well visit id click ok next one is patient so add dot 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 patients tbl patients and then patient id in here patient id as well i know this video is a bit slower maybe so please bear with me these are important now we will link the doctors table so we'll say tbl doctors and we're looking for doctor id we will map it to prescription and in here the doctor id where is it there you go next we have the medicines table so we create a relationship for medicine okay so medicine medicine id medicine id click ok close so the relationships are created and now we'll click say uh, control i will press control s we get this alert we say yes to it and now this table is also created so let's close that we have one more table to go and that is billing table in the billing table we have a couple of fields we have only one foreign key one foreign field which is visit id so right click on the tables new table and billing id int allow nulls no then we have the visit id and this is going to be int as well allow null no and uh, amount this is going to be currency oh no sorry numeric allow null no and billing date is going to be billing date date time and then we have the payment status as well this is going to be varchar 50 right i think let's give some decimal here so one decimal point let's save it we call it tbl billing there we go okay now we need to create a relationship but by the way why did i forget that the billing id is not set as a primary key so that might have given me error later on let's see if i've turned the identity specification on no that's weird so let's turn it on please guys don't forget this this is very important okay so the table is saved all the fields are added and now we have the database ready to go and ready to be linked with the 
uh, Microsoft Access, which is going to be user interface. So that's about it. I hope that you like whatever you have seen. I hope that you have learned something. And I hope that you will subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks very much. Tell me in the comments below if you are learning. Even if you are not, please do let me know in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.